And as you can see, we've uh, we've talked to everyone here, so our next chalice will actually solidify these steps. Very nice. But for the time being, just a slight reward from this guy. My God, Fortescue, you must be the luckiest corpse ever to walk the face of the earth. I have something here I can lend to you. Take it or leave it. But remember, I'm only doing this for the sake of Galomir's doomed population, and not for you, you gangly buffoon! Sure, well, I'll take it anyway. Will I accept? I will! Hooray for riches! Okay, I haven't actually spent a, a single coin yet, but, uh, mark my words, I'll have to eventually. Um, probably after I'm d I've done with the asylum. I can't think of any other boss that requires me to have throwing weapons like the one at the forest. At least not before the forest. So yeah, no, we're, we're doing alright. I don't have to spend any gold just yet. But onwards, onwards, to the pumpkin serpent. Ooh, I will save, why not? Eh. Eh. Oh no, alright, there we go. And... To the pumpkin serpent we go. Oh my god, I don't know if I'm ready for this or not. Ah, it should be fine. There's actually some ways to make this an easier fight. They pretty much just make it easy for you by throwing some things in for you. But oh well. The king pumpkin sleeps. If you want an audience with this regal plant, you should mash all of the pod sacks. There we go, and there's a pod testicle. Oh no, Explos eh. explosive pumpkins are not my friends. Oh, oh, I'm just gonna let them all kamikaze and run away. Alright, eight pods remain. He's got nine pods. Alright, well, they're pretty easy to find, so this is this is a reasonably short level, so I'm not too concerned. Alright. Oh god. Eh. Oh, slight damage. It's alright. Their tongues do a hell of a lot more damage than uh, those projectiles, as you can see. Projectiles aren't too much of a problem. Okay. It is rumoured that the Pumpkin Witch is in possession of a much sought after dragon gem. If you have a witch talisman, you could summon this kindly witch. And you know what, I'll do that. I'll do just that because I do have a witch talisman. It's time to go full Wiccan here. And say hello to the Pumpkin Witch. There we are. Every time you see a cauldron. Greetings, kind sir. I am the Pumpkin Witch. I'm like a mother to those pumpkins. She's a literal pumpkin. Give them all the love and care a young fruit could ever ask for. From the moment they first push a shoot above the soil, right up until their heads are cut off and eaten. Yum, yum. But look, see how they repay me, running around and causing mischief. That nasty old big pumpkin has a bad influence on the young seedlings. No. If you teach him a lesson in manners, I might give you a nice present. Oh, well, I like presents. So we have a quest. Um, it really just involves you beating the end boss of the of the level, so it's not that tough. Or at the very least, it's mandatory, so it's not like we can't not do this quest for her. Alright, and down goes another pod. So only seven remain. I'm gonna leave the last pods here, of course. I believe there are two here. Oh god, hello. Try to get them from behind, if you can. Because they're particularly weak from behind. Alright, as you can see, a couple of pods here. Um, I'm going to come back once I've destroyed the other pods. Oh dear, and we have a drained lake here. <laughs> the fish can't quite survive in this, but... Oh yes, and finally some health. Okay, careful, because these will explode. Uh, oh, a shield. You know what? I'll, I'll leave that there. Hopefully it doesn't despawn. Oh, no. So yeah, very short level. We're pretty much already done for the most part. There's just this area here, and then this area back here, and then there's a little other extra area, but we can't actually get to it until we've defeated the pumpkin serpent, so... Ow, there we go. Not very good at defending myself. This is going to come to bite me in the arse later on, I'm sure. Alright, four pods remain. Um, oh Christ, alright, hang on, I might do a charge attack here. There we go, one down, two down, and there goes a third. Okay, uh, where are the remaining pods? I know there were two back there. Um, cannot for the life of me remember where the rest are. Could you 
use some extra health. Don't disappear just yet, I might still need healing. Okay, and I'm going to defend myself as I run through pumpkins. Okay, oh, here are some hods. Yeah. No! There we go, there's that dealt with. And here are the two pods we were looking for. And we're already pretty much done now. Two pods remain, and they're right by the serpent anyway. There we go. And we got a good shield going. Uh, do I need healing? Probably not. And as you can see, we've got two of these skull and crossbone thingamajigs, and that'll come in really handy once we just... Oh, once we've gotten the last two pods. Wait, no, I didn't kill that one just yet. Come on. One pod left. Try not to die. And here we go. I have awakened. Who dares disturb the pumpkin serpent? All right. It's a bit of an asshole, but look at this. You give one of these a whack. How much health does it take off? Uh, a decent amount. Not too much, I guess. Maybe I shouldn't even be using them like this, but oh well. Alright. Oh, oh, careful not to get too damaged. But yeah, he's pretty weak. I can just stand here and just whack him. He doesn't do too much damage. Oh, I destroyed one of his tentacles, kind of. Oh, but he's getting aggressive. No! How dare you, you pumpkin bastard. There we go. Like that. Oh, oh. And there we go, and the flowers can bloom again because we fucked that serpent up. Bad news is, uh, these things will respawn infinitely now in this area, which is a problem. Oh god. Oh god, do I need healing or what? Uh, where is healing for me? Okay, well there's something up there, and of course I gotta get my reward. Right now, I'm just gonna go grab some healing, and maybe replenish my shield. Okay, only short one bottle, that's okay. And replenish my shield, and... Yeah, no, I'm pretty happy with how this has turned out. Um, I do need to actually farm some of these enemies so that I've got enough for the chalice. But other than that, we're pretty much done here. Ow! Oh god, try not to get damaged too much here. No. I should duck under that. May have taken more damage than I would like. Oh god. No. There we go. Oh, one more kill should just about do it, I think. If I'm still paying attention. There we go. We can grab the chalice now, which... Now that we've dealt with the pumpkin serpent... It's actually right down this chute here, but you know what? I'll come back for that in just a second. Because now we can get our reward. A most edifying spectacle, sir. Mm. Man and vegetable in a magnificent duel to the death. Oh, I've come over all of a doodar. Here, have this lovely dragon gem as your reward. Nice. How lovely majestic creatures dragons are. So we've got our first of two dragon gems, which will come in handy later on. So yes, there's that. Now the last thing we have to do is get the chalice, which is actually down here. Now that all the tentacles are gone, we can go down here. Let's have a look. Hopefully there's nothing here. Well, there's, there's a lot of rats here. Rats can also serve as money makers like the hands. <laughs> but again, not very valuable. Meh. Uh, so I'm not going to bother, but I will get the chalice, which is right ahead. Yay! Doo -doo -doo -doo. All right, and that's us done. I'm going to try and avoid as much damage as possible because we're pretty much at full health. Oh, no, you didn't. All right, and out we go. And all the tentacles are disappearing. Ho ho, we did it. Now that pumpkin fucker is dead, we can do more things.